We kind of we spoke about this. We kind of look at our journey, and it's almost we separated in two journeys, you know, um, two chapters almost really. Um, our first chapter was um, discovering where we we fell pregnant with twins, um, and uh, our the first chapter as a you know everything was going fine yeah. with our pregnancy up until mm-hmm. um, twenty weeks. Um, we had talked about um, the possibility of um, developing twin to twin syndrome quite early on, um, and you kind of, I guess, whenever whenever you hear all this information getting fed to you, you're just thinking. All I was thinking about was twins, mm-hmm. you know, um, and how we're going to cope, you know. Um, yeah. But uh, we then discovered at 20 weeks that we developed twin to twin syndrome. Um, and that's where our kind of first journey began. Um, we flew to, we had to go to London for um, twin to twin transfusion syndrome. Um, uh, and it kind of. For kinda, laser treatment? Yeah, for laser treatment. So we went for the laser treatment at St. George's Hospital, mm-hmm. um, which was successful. Um, but looking back on that now, we knew that that only bought us more time, really. Um, we were very fortunate to go home with two babies, yeah. you know, and two heartbeats, um, because the reality of our situation was that we were likely to lose, if not one, but both our boys at that point. So yeah. we were completely relieved to go home with two heartbeats. Mm-hmm. Um, and we came home, and after that, it was in and out of hospital in yeah, the Royal Maternity for a couple of weeks. Um, and. Before we knew it, it was um, decision time and our boys were delivered then um, at 26 weeks um, by emergency C-section and they were born on the 3rd of October. Um, Jared and Sullivan both born just after 5 a.m. and that Mm -hmm. was really the start of our neonatal journey. Um, And then both our boys were in intensive care for quite a while in neonatal and we were very fortunate enough to have Jared Mm -hmm. for as long as we did. We had Jared for seven weeks um, and Jared sadly passed away on the 21st of November Mm -hmm. um, 2014 and Sullivan then continued to fight and get stronger every day and he eventually came home um, a couple of weeks after our due date um, on the 22nd of January. Mm -hmm. So that was a long four months in neonatal. 